Johnny Bergen. I'm here with Stephanie Tice, aka the Blues Raccoon. And welcome to our video podcast, No Border Blues, which is a show about international blues scenes and artists that you should know about. Thank you, Johnny, for that introduction. I'm here with Johnny Bergen, who is known as the Worldwide West Side Guitar Man. He's a regularly toured and collaborated with artists and blues musicians all around the world in Europe, South America, Russia, and Japan. Stephanie Tice has recently produced No Border Blues Japan on the Delmark label. Oh, look, there it is, <laughs> which is a great experience. And uh, it's the first American compilation of the underground Japanese blues scene. Our show today, No Borders Blues, is sponsored by Chicago Blues Network, which is an educational platform that honors the living history of Chicago blues. And we're so excited today. I've got my poster behind me that says Japan. And who are our guests today, Johnny? Today we have Lee Kanahira on piano and vocals, and we have Cotez on harmonica and vocals. They're a great duo and they also work um, individually. They've been on the Japanese blues scene for a long time. They play very prominent roles on this recording. And uh, so konnichiwa. I'm very happy konnichiwa. to here today. So konnichiwa, and let's start out with you guys playing a little something for us and our audience. <laughs> Wonderful. It's always so great to hear you guys play together. And one of the things I've always been curious about is where you both started in blues music, how long ago, and what your initial inspirations were. Okay. Uh, me first? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I started to play classical piano when I was a kid. And after I graduated uh, music college, and I met a guy who plays uh, blues guitar and he said, you know, oh, you play piano and then maybe you might want to listen to those CDs. And he lent two albums. It's called Blues Piano. That was uh, Memphis Slim and Sanyan Slim. And when I first listened to them, I was like, wow, that's it. <laughs> you know, that's what I want to play. And then since then, 
I taught myself and started to play Chicago blues piano. Great. We play it so well. Mm -hmm. I was into uh, professional wrestling and the uh, uh, Japanese rock band. When I was a kid, they showed me how to entertain an audience <laughs> on stage and always blew me away. <laughs> they gave me a, a big influence as a performer, uh, developed it as I kept doing my show. <laughs> Remember the last time that we were in Japan, we went to see Lee hmm? play and the great Kabuki wrestler. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Legendary. <laughs> With him as well. And her danced, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, you, you guys were dancing like crazy. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that I was remember. so much fun. <laughs> Good. I didn't know that there was a connection between wrestling and the blues. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in your, your, in your mind, there is, right? Right, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I would like to know, when did you two start pairing up as a duo and uh, playing together? And when you travel around, do you only do blues or do you have another expanded music you do or just blues as a duo? So us as a duo... We just only play blues duo, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys are in China? Yeah, yeah we China. went to China, actually twice, right? Yeah, twice. So what kind of what kind of audience do you have in China? Are they a young audience? Is yes, yeah. very, very young. very young, yeah. They look like just only 20 something. Wow. Yeah. That's so they were dancing and enjoying yeah. the music. That was, Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Was and, that? And it, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> actually, but you know, but but they still don't have so many musicians out there, especially in the blues field. But I don't know the reason why. But when it comes to harmonica, yeah, we met quite a lot of players, <laughs> and we had jam session with them at each venue. And, you know, as you can imagine, Kotetsu killed it. <laughs> he blew them away, you know? Yeah, and, uh, and after the show, he was surrounded yeah. by a bunch of, bunch of people, from children to adults, and uh, they asked, you know, how did you do that? I want to be a harmonica player like you. Can you tell me that technique? You know, he was treated like a hero. Nice. Yeah, he is a hero. No bother. No bother, <laughs> yeah, that's right to the blues, right? <laughs> <laughs> so both of you are in Tokyo, um, and um, there's quite a number of blues clubs in Tokyo. So are you still playing in Tokyo now, or are you planning to do some touring maybe next year? Um, we, you know, but he, actually he is touring like, all the time. Yeah. In the, all over Japan. Excellent. And, yeah. And but I, I've been playing my solo piano at Bright Brown, which is the finest uh, blues club in Tokyo. Yes. Yeah. We love it there. <laughs> is, <laughs> Bright Brown is the oldest blues club in Tokyo? I'm not sure. Maybe not oldest. Really, 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 really. Mm, older. Yeah, one of the oldest Old. club, blues club in Tokyo. Yeah. Well, we played there in 1996, Cotes. 1996. <laughs> ah, so so so. <laughs> wow. Young, eh? <laughs> Very young. <laughs> but we're better now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'll ask you both, but who um, who is one of your favorite? blues artists that have inspired you initially that you listen to piano wise or mm, me uh, that's a very tough question but uh, mm. my Otis Pam of course and uh, Leroy Carr oh okay wow. and uh, 
Pinto Perkins and uh, Johnny Jones. Johnny you know, Jones. They're all that kind of guys, you know, the old school. You see all yeah, no, that's what I love, yeah. Yeah, you seem to really love the boogie woogie stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You 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 have a great song on here on the album. <laughs> Seems okay. like one of the uplifting things that you like to play. Oh, thank you. Okay. So how about this? James Cotton. James Cotton. James Cotton. Yeah. Um, I I met uh, interview. Oh, wow. so he got he got an interview with yeah. James Cotton. The blues, Japanese blue magazines. Really? Interview and uh, wow. Uh, wow. You know, <clears throat> five times and so he he saw James Cotton's yeah. playing Japan at, at least five times. Five times. Yeah. Wow. Great. Great harmonica. And yeah. uh, here's some James Cotton and what you're playing. Yeah. And um you've got that uh that attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super harp of Japan. The super <laughs> And uh uh Howling Wolf. Yes. Howling Wolf. Howling Wolf. Performer he's. Yeah. Yeah, he's a great performer. Yeah. yeah. Great. I I love the fact that that there's so many folks in Japan that are really interested in the real deal blues and really try to play it as authentically as, as they can. You know, that's what got us into making this No Border Blues record because, you know, you two and lots of other people that we met in Tokyo and Osaka were, were playing the blues so seriously and so hey. well. And yeah, it's glad you're here on this show so people can, can learn about it some more because it really inspired me. Oh, yeah. thank you. Still thank inspired you. us. It does. <laughs> Oh wow, it means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> one of one of the things um, that has been very interesting for me is is people wanting to sing or writing in their own language, but only singing in English. So a lot of people have been inspired by Madasuke Nanda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is totally in Japan in Japanese, and right. sometimes they'll sing the chorus, and that's. Mm -hmm. what inspiration so I I really enjoy that that was a contribution to the album and um, I just think it's a great thing to be able to sing in your own language and sing the blues mm. would you guys consider doing some other some like some of your own songs in Japanese in Japanese mm. oh. Or maybe saw on some of your records because I know you've both done several CDs over the years and different recordings what right. what would you think about doing that? Actually, I'm I'm not good at writing lyrics, in, so no, I prefer just play. But how about that? Ah, uh, mada suki nande. Yeah, hoka ni nihongo de. Ah, demo amman nai ne. Oh, only two, three songs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so he has three songs, mm. the blues in Japanese. So so so. Oh. Well, I guess we have to come back to Japan then and do. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Next, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, why don't you play another little song for us? Yeah, we're okay, so we're gonna okay. play Mada Skinanda. Mada Skinanda. Okay. Okay. And Johnny, can, can you sing along with us? <laughs> Mada Skinanda, Johnny. Mada Skinanda! <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Bye. 
So that's a, you play Suzuki Manjis, huh? Yeah, sure. Okay. There they are. All right. Great. <laughs> you sound good on a pocket whistle, but uh, you sound great, man. Both you guys are just, just fabulous. And um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, Leah, I'll ask you a little bit. I, um, I know that you've done some playing with the Cashbox Kings here in the United States. Um, uh -huh. Just tell our, our viewers, how, how did that come about? Um, so when I sat in with Kenny, Kenny Smith, the jam session at the Blues Fest, and that was in 2011, I guess. And then after that, he said, uh, you know, I have a show with a band called Cashbox Kings next week. So you can play with us if you like. And I said, yes. You know, and then he took me to the Wisconsin and introduced me to Joe, Joe Nozick, the harmonica player and the leader of the band. And um, actually, the, Joe and I are still talking about that moment, but uh, he got a call from Kenny and Bean said, hey, there's a girl from Japan who can play blues piano, so can I bring her to, the, to our next gig? And, uh, and uh, Joe thought, you know, oh, Japanese young girl plays blues piano. That's interesting. <laughs> and, uh, but he said yes because he believes in Kenny, you know. So and uh, and ended up, you know, I I sat in with them, like a, I played that whole set with the Cash Fox, and I, we immediately hit it off. Well, and you add a lot to their sound. <laughs> yeah. So that's so, cool. that's really cool. And through them, you got to play at the at the uh, Chicago Blues Festival. And That's you right. a piano contest in 2018. How did that make you feel? Um, I feel, I don't know, I'm just happy, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I did do my best. But <laughs> <laughs> so it must have been quite a, were you surprised? Yeah, kind of surprised. Yeah. It was exciting, huh? And very exciting, yeah, and I'm so grateful for that, yeah. Well, we hope that the Chicago Blues Festival <clears throat> is going to maybe start up again next year, but the year after, and we'd really like to bring some Japanese artists and redo oh. No Border Blues Japan at the Chicago Blues Festival sometime, so. Oh, that sounds wonderful. i like to say about, about Samurai Harp Attack, the way that, that you and Iper and Kaz 
work something out like within minutes. And it sounded like it had been like written by a composer. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, I think that could only happen in Japan practically. Yeah, it was definitely, yeah. a, it was a, I, and I love the, the name, Samurai Heart Attack. Samurai. Samurai. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, <laughs> cool. <laughs> But uh, we love we love working with you, and and we appreciate you being on this podcast. Is there anything uh, is there anything you'd like to say to uh, like your both of you have, have some fans around the world? Um, anything you'd like to say? Uh, no, we we were we're looking forward to you know you you able to come back to Japan, yeah. and we're gonna have. Yeah, yeah. we're waiting for you. And a big party in Japan. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drink sake and kampai. You mean <laughs> dance party? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you um, so much, Lee and Cortez. Domo. Thank you. Thank you. Domo, arigato. 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 Thanks for your great playing. Yes. Thank you. So our Thank podcast you. today is sponsored by the Chicago Blues Network, and they're bringing Chicago blues to the world. All right, we're going to feature Lee and Cotez with one more song, Pumpkin Boogie. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Congratulations, you're spreading up, you're spreading the 
blues like in other parts of Asia that, that have never had it. I think Japan kind of got the blues before anybody else in Asia, I bet. And they, they got it. They really got it. And okay. <laughs> there's a whole history of blues in Japan. And now, now you're bringing it to places in China for young people and everything. So uh, I'm just amazed at you guys. Thanks for oh, the show. Thank you. Domo. どうもありがとう。さよなら。さよなら。気をつけて。またね。またね。気をつけて。ありがとう。ありがとう。気をつけて。<笑><笑>